In this slide, we are going to learn about the uh, schematics of uh, scanning electron microscope. Um, to know something about the scanning electron microscope, uh, first compare the known thing to the unknown thing. Um, the known equipment to you is light microscope. I hope you have used light microscope during 9, 10, 11, 12th grade or maybe in your bachelor program. To the very new equipment to you, which is called scanning electron microscope. So in case of um, a light microscope, which is shown on the left hand side uh, of the slide, uh, the basic parts are the uh, source, the light source from where light will emit. Uh, then you, uh, then the light is passing by to the condenser lens. Condenser lens, uh, uh, um, what it does, it converts the uh, the light beam onto the uh, sample or specimen, uh, which you want to. Um, where, on the specimen, there is some uh, some objects, for example, bacteria or maybe some other stuff, uh, which you want to get. Uh, which you want to see in the on the very large scale because these uh, small objects like bacteria or else um, they are not uh, they are they are not be seen by the naked eye so you want to see the structure of bacteria or fungus so you have to they have to be get magnified so what happens the light source uh, uh, converges from the condenser lens onto the specimen uh, then after passing by the specimen Length, the light is passed uh, uh, from the objective and the projection lens. Um, so the um, the person is is is, is sitting uh, beside the projection lens, so uh, as to view um, the object on the specimen. So in, in this case, uh, uh, for just for the comparison purpose, um, uh, you can see the light microscope in the um, upside down position. Normally, what happens? The light source is 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 at the bottom place, uh, from uh, and and the uh, the person who is who is who is who is going to observe the object on the uh, specimen or sample holder uh, is on the top side. So, what is happening? Light is passing by the condenser lens to the specimen. The specimen from the uh, from the light pass uh, pass the passes by the specimen to the condenser projection lens and to the eye. Uh, the interesting thing that um, um, you have to note down is the, the specimen um, or the is, um, uh, object holder uh, shall be transparent. If you recall your uh, 9 to 10 grade or the later stages of your education then you observe that um, in light microscope you put something on the glass slide and the glass light is placed where the sample holder. So uh, the glass slide contains anything uh, or you, the interesting object may be fungus, bacteria or something else you want to uh, see on the larger scale or the magnif magnified scale. So in this case, the light microscope case, the, the uh, sample or specimen shall be transparent. So that light shall be passed through the uh, sample uh, from light source to the eye. Uh, the next thing um, uh, we are going to discuss is the scanning electron microscope. In principle, the basic parts of light microscope and the scanning electron microscope are the same. Means. Um, in both the cases, there is a source uh, which generate, um, in case of light microscope, light, in case of electron microscope, electron, and then there's the condenser lens, um, the objective lens, uh, or the focusing lens, we also call it. Um, um, the thing is, um, in, in case of scanning light, uh, scanning uh, electron microscope, uh, we need a source of electrons. Um, as the name suggests, scanning electron. So we need a source of electron um, and uh, because of this electron we are going to see the object on a very large scale or in the magnifying scale. Uh, so what happened that um, there is a electron gun which emits the electron and the electron passed by the condenser lens 
then to the focusing lens or objective lens toward the specimen so specimen is at the bottom position um, the electron target the um, specimen and there is a um, electron detector which collects the electron which are either emitted by the, uh, the specimen or reflected back from the specimen because uh, in this case you can see the electrons after focusing lens they are targeted toward the specimen um, so the electrons are, are uh, they hit um, uh, to the atoms of specimen and from there there are two possibilities uh, on, pro on, on, on the broader scale number one either electron will um, reflect it back or the second case is the atoms of specimen they also they also have some electrons so the electron from the electron gun they transmit some of its energy to the electrons they are orbiting around the atoms of the specimen so these electron gain some energy and they then um, get rid of the outer shell uh, and they move toward the uh, electron detector so the electron detectors they are two type number one um, the electron detector who collect the reflected electrons and the and the, uh, the another uh, detector uh, another type of detector the um, electron detector is the one which collects the electrons which are emitted by the um, specimen uh, which are uh, emitted by the uh, atoms of the specimen so I will repeat again uh, what is happening in the electron uh, scanning electron microscopy as the name suggests electron microscopy so we need source of uh, electron it's called electron gun which is at the top here the electron gun emits electron they are passed by the condenser lens then to the focusing lens toward the specimen the focus beam of electron hit the specimen and then um, they are going toward the detectors so there are two types of detectors number one the detector which detect the electrons that are hitting and reflecting back is it okay the electron they hit the specimen and then they reflect this is jet of water if it hit the wall it is reflected at some point similarly the jet of electron they hit the specimen and they reflect it toward the detector there is second kind of detector um, uh, which is placed nearby to the um, uh, this kind of detector uh, so the first detector it detects the reflected electrons and the second detector what it gets the electrons that are that are targeted toward the specimen specimen is also made of atoms and atoms electrons are revolving in at, at, at certain orbits so what happens that electrons from this beam transmit some of the, its energy uh, to the electrons of the atoms of the object or the specimen so these electrons um, which are revolving around the atoms of this the specimen uh, they gain some energy by 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 uh, by transferring of energy and they the they, the electrons um, from the outermost shells they they escape from the atoms so the outermost shell when they escape from the outermost shell of the atom then they are detected by the another um, electron detector um, so two types of detector number one which collect the reflected electrons and the there is another detector here somewhere which collects the electron which are emitted by the atoms of the specimen so this is all um, this is the whole story of uh, scanning electron microscope so by by this slide uh, um, you now you know the basic parts of uh, any of the scanning electron microscopy which are these uh, which are the uh, electron source or electron gun there is a condenser lens there is a focusing lens, specimen, and detector. And uh, in case of elect uh, scanning electron microscopy, um, the, the, the main element is the electrons. 
which are emitted by the electron gun and because of these electrons uh, you are able to view the um, um, the object uh, of study on very large magnification. Uh, I think it's enough for today. Uh, so uh, if you want uh, me to load more content in this single lecture, then please let me know. Uh, it's, it's very easy for me to give uh, the extended lecture uh, for like hours. Um, but I know that most of the uh, students, they, they, they don't have to leverage to um, uh, internet access for like uh, um, for hours and hours um, so um, what I'm doing I'm limiting my lecture to to the scale where the student can uh, learn more from the um, content um, just by uh, viewing it so if you have any type of questions uh, about the uh, material I have delivered uh, uh, then please um, uh, ask either by the Google Classroom or WhatsApp group. Uh, if you want me to uh, load more content, then uh, I, I can do it easily. So please let me know whatever you want. Um, please feel free to ask any type of questions. Uh, thanks and see you again.